Hi everyone, Sarah Trapani here at Whole Sky Yoga in Stone Ridge, New York, and today I'm delighted to offer a 10-minute gentle floor practice for opening your hips. This is also um, supportive for the lower back if you tend to have a lot of tension in your lower back. So it's all on the floor, very um, safe for your joints, and I hope you enjoy. So when you're ready, please join me on the back. We're going to lay down. So... We're gonna lay down in constructive rest pose. So you take the feet about mat with distance apart and you let the knees knock in to touch. And then rest your hands on your body, relaxing the shoulders. And take a moment to arrive in your body. So everything else outside this practice starts to dissolve away as you come in to focus on yourself for a little while. And give yourself permission to Focus on yourself and to nourish your hips and your back today. So when you inhale, feel the belly expand. When you exhale, empty out the exhale and the belly softens. Just work with that a couple times. Inhale, the belly fills. And exhale, the belly softens. One more time, inhale, the belly fills. And exhale, empty all the way out. And taking a moment to set an intention for this practice together. What do you want to cultivate here in this next brief 10 minute practice? You can take your hands to heart center and seal that intention into your heart, into your body, into your cells. And then rest your arms out to either a T or to a cactus shape. And we're going to start to press through the left foot and let the knees spill to the right in this windshield wiper action. And you're moving very slowly. Bring the knees back to center and windshield wiper over to the left. So the inner right knee drops down and back to center, over to the right. It's really soft in your neck and shoulders. And paying attention to how your hips feel today, the place where the femur connects to the body and all the muscles around that area, your glutes and your outer hip outer thighs, remembering to breathe, good, and then as you come back to center, you're going to heel toe your feet together about hip width distance, press through your left foot and start to draw your right knee in towards your body, take your hands in front of your right shin and gently pull your right thigh toward you, if you feel that it's available, you can extend your left leg out straight and long on the floor, keep the shoulders relaxed, Start to circulate the right knee a few times across the body and then over to the right. And pay attention to how does that right hip feel? Is it feeling tight? Is it feeling loose? Be curious. That's a huge part of what this yoga practice, this asana practice is about, is to be curious and inquisitive about how your body feels. And as you bring the knee back to about center, step your left foot onto the ground, extend your right foot toward the sky, hands are behind the thigh bone or the calf or ankle, and just point and flex, point and flex a few times. You can circle the right toe around. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Feel the connection of your left foot to the earth. And then cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh, thread the needle, take your hands into the knee crease or in front of the left shin for figure four. And there you can pause, little flex in that right foot, left foot's nice and relaxed. The right inner knee moves away from your face and you can let your mind linger on the area of the most sensation and gentle rocking side to side might feel good. Breathing, making sure the jaw and the throat are relaxed. And then lightly uncross and come into full happy baby, elbows on insides of knees, hands are going to reach toward the outside of the feet or the ankles or shins, depending on how open you feel. Let the shoulders drop so the collarbones are broad. And you can let the tip of the tail scoop towards your face a little bit as you give a little traction on the outside ankles or feet. And then gently release. You're going to release and bring your soles of feet together. Let the knees splay open for a moment in your Supta Baddha Konasana. Take the arms overhead. Bring the palms together overhead to touch. And you can kind of notice in the peripheral vision or if you 
kind of look down, not moving your head, but notice when you relax, does one knee go over a little more than the other? And just kind of explore adjusting the sacrum and adjusting the position of the thigh bones so that the knees are level with each other. And push your feet together like your feet are in prayer. And then bring the hands through heart center. Squeeze your knees in. Step your feet onto the ground. You're going to hug your left knee in toward the body. Give a little pull. And if it feels okay, extend your right leg out. Right inner thigh wraps toward the ground. And you pull the left thigh toward you. And then start to circulate, tracing a circle in the air with that left knee. How much can you relax in that upper body, in the shoulder blades, and the collarbones? Pay attention to the connection of the femur into the hip. And how does that feel today? Is this hip any different than the other? Just be curious. How does it feel in your lower back? And if there's any area that has an interesting sensation, you might pause for a moment to breathe into that area. This is a really simple exercise you can do any time of day. It's very sort of grounding and connect you to the earth and loosen up this hip and the psoas area where we can carry a lot of stress in, in the fight or flight response. So as your knee comes back to center, step your right foot onto the ground, extend your left foot toward the sky, hands are behind the thigh bone, calf or ankle, point and flex, point and flex, feel the opening in that calf down the hamstring, it's kind of back channel of the leg. And this head of the femur is just plopping right into your hip. And then go ahead and cross your left ankle on top of the right thigh. And then thread the needle. Hands can either be in the knee crease or in front of the shin for figure four. Feel the plugging of that left femur into the hip. And you can gently rock if that feels okay. And you're able to breathe. You feel the resistance of your right leg into the hands a little bit. And the left inner knee moves away from the face. And take one more inhale. You can hug the legs a little bit closer. And then exhale, uncross, come into full happy baby again. Elbows on insides of knees, hands are reaching toward the outside feet. Shoulders relaxed toward the earth. Really relaxing the back of the head. And take your hands to the inside arches of the feet or the ankles and give a little pull there. And just holding for a couple of moments, notice your breath. Let the elbows and shoulders and chest kind of soften. And then we're going to slowly release. Step your feet onto the ground. Now step your feet a little bit further away from your sitting bones. Now, you're going to bring your right heel behind your left sitting bone. Reach your left hand for the top of that right foot. Now, whatever degree, as you pull that left heel toward your right sitting bone, you're going to let your right knee lengthen away from your face. And you can take your right arm up. And turn the palm to face up. And imagine a channel of connection from the right fingertips down through that inner right knee as if you're trying to lay that outer right knee on the ground. Don't force, just breathe wherever you're at with it. And if that's not available today, then you can just wait for us with your feet on the floor. And then slowly you're gonna release again, pull that right knee in toward your body. Now tone your belly, round your face towards your knee, knee toward your face. And then release your head back. Bring your right foot onto the ground. Now heel toe or bring that left heel behind the sitting bone. You reach your right hand down for the top of that left foot. And then lengthen. So this trajectory is straight from the hip crease where the thigh meets the body. Straight forward through the inner knee. Like you're trying to lay that left leg on the ground. And then your left arm is going to come up alongside the ear. Left shoulder is relaxing. Imagine a channel of connection from the left fingertips down to the inner knee and even to the arch of the foot into the place where your right hand's connecting to the foot. <clears throat> Inhale, fill the belly and exhale, slowly release. 
point your left knee up and then bring it toward your face. Hands are in front of the shin. Tone your belly, bring your knee toward your face, face toward your knee, exhale. And let the head fall back, bring your feet to the floor. Extend one leg out, extend the other leg out. Slide the heels open, rest your hands on your belly and wag your toes in and out, in and out, in and out. Roll, reach your right arm up alongside the ear, roll to your right hand side, roll onto your belly. Open your left knee out to about half of a frog leg. Cactus arms, gently turn your face to the right. Mm -hmm. Breathing there. Feeling that line from the arch of the inner left foot right to the right pinky. Imagining that like a channel or a electric current is connecting there. Good. And then pressing through the palms, start to lift your head. Slowly slide that left leg back. And then slide your right leg out to the right into that frog leg. Peek over to the left. Let your cheek melt to the ground. And then slowly, you can stay there if you, if you need to stay a little longer. When you're ready, slowly extend your right leg back. Stack your forearms. Rest your brow line into a crocodile. And here we're going to take an introspective Shavasana here in crocodile pose. And you can stay there rolling the forehead from side to side. You can even point your toes up and take a couple windshield wipers, getting into the front of the quadriceps there. Breathing into the whole front of the body, down to the top of the knees, and eventually resting in crocodile and staying there for about a minute or two, or even longer if you want. The connection from this place of the forehead to the hands, down to the heart, down to the tail, down to the toes. When you're ready, you're going to go ahead and take your palms under the shoulders and gently press your way up. We're going to find our way back up to a cross leg seat. Let the shoulders drop and relax down. You can bring your hands to heart center. Mm -mm. Remember your intention for practice today. And just acknowledging the health and strength of your body, of your hips. And let's bow the chin toward the chest and say namaste in celebration of each other in this practice. And I hope you have a beautiful day and find some contentment and joy in your day. And I want to thank you for um, practicing with me and thanks for subscribing and sharing and liking if you enjoy my videos and I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.